Hey there my fellow intellectuals, how are you doing today? Kyle here with another video and today what I'd like to do is I'd like to tell you a little bit about one of my favorite book series as a physics student and that book series is the A Student's Guide to series. So I have four of those books right here for you to, to show and they cover a range of different topics but the one thing you might notice just from the, off the bat is that they're very thin, right? So I got four books right here. They're usually around 200 pages or less. I think this top book is only like 130 pages. And the one thing that I really like about this book series is that they really get to the core of what you need to know about the topics that they are going to cover. So I have one here by Daniel Fleisch on uh, Maxwell's equations. It was actually the very first one I ever got and I loved it so much that I wanted to get more. I also have this one on the Schrodinger equation, which is fairly new, I think, by Daniel Fleisch as well. And then I have one on general relativity by Norman Gray. And then I have one on the mathematics of astronomy by both Daniel Fleisch and um, Julia Craigenau. And again, all these books are really good at getting to the heart of the subject matter. And I love the way that they present the information in this book. So what they have, I'll give you a demonstration, is that they have these boxes right down here, which I've highlighted in pink, sort of explaining what, you know, the concept um, is in sort of simple words. And they also have these nice um, equation diagrams where they sort of map out what each term in an equation means. It's super helpful. I just love the way that this stuff is presented. And they also have a number of examples to sort of reinforce the concepts that they teach. Not only that, but they also include problems at the end of every chapter, which I can show right here. And they have the solutions most of the time on the corresponding website associated with the book. So this book has a website and I believe the other books also have websites. I haven't gone to all the different websites, but at least for Maxwell's equations, there definitely is a website that has the solutions that I've looked at. And I believe I also emailed Daniel Fleisch on uh, a problem that I didn't understand how he got an answer. And he was very helpful. He emailed me back. Um, he's a really nice guy. And he also creates uh, podcasts that are on Apple Podcasts, for example, that go over each individual section, at least in this book. Um, it might be the case for the other books. I, again, I don't know. I kind of just found this book and I explored it to, um, you know, the end. And um, I just really fell in love with this book series when I first got this book because it is just super helpful at reinforcing the topics that you or that they are trying to teach. Now, one thing I will say is that none of these books you know, none of these books, not, whether it be the Schrodinger Equation, this book on general relativity, you know, astronomy right here, none of these books would be a standalone textbook in my opinion. That's not the point. I don't think they were written with that purpose. The purpose was for them to sort of supplement and sort of boost your knowledge in sort of the core areas in these topics so that when you do move on to more sort of standard reference textbooks, that you'll have a better understanding of what is going on. Because sometimes you, you look at a book, I don't have a book on me right now, but maybe you have a book, like for example, I don't know, Galactic Astronomy, which is like, you know, 800 pages, that you're just kind of like, where do I even begin? You know, where do I even start with this kind of book? What's nice with the Student's Guide series is that they really, really just give you the essential concepts that you need to know, reinforce those essential concepts, and set you up to be in a good position to learn more advanced stuff in the future. So for example, general relativity was a subject that I've been very interested in as of late. Um, you may remember that I did a whole uh, video on going through this MIT OpenCourseWare general relativity lecture um, on the YouTube channel. And uh, I was also studying side by side with this book right here, which again, it's very thin and it really gets to the heart of, you know, general relativity, sort of the main um, concepts and also reinforces the um, sort of the machinery of how you use tensors in general relativity. And so it gives you a very good conceptual understanding. I would say all of these books do that. They give you a very, very good conceptual understanding of what's going on. Um, the problems aren't supposed to be the hardest in the world. Like this isn't like, for example, in Maxwell's, um, in the Maxwell's equations book, I wouldn't say you would go right from this to tackling on like Jackson electrodynamics. That definitely is not the, the goal there. The goal is to sort of 
get you acquainted with the standard uh, Maxwell's equations and, you know, move on to, you know, texts like maybe Purcell or, or Griffiths, right, at the undergraduate level. So, again, I know I've been going on about this, but I really, really, really love these books. Highly recommend people check them out. They're also fairly inexpensive. They're usually less than $30 American um, US dollars. And um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about them. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I convince you that um, these books are worth getting. And I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, everyone.